Governor Mark Dayton returned to his normal schedule today after being released from the hospital. Dayton's senior advisor says doctors treated him for dehydration after he fainted at a political event in Woodbury on Sunday, then again during a car ride home. Ashley Roberts joins us now live in the newsroom with more on how the governor is getting back into the swing of things today. Ashley. Hi, Kim. Governor Mark Dayton hit the ground running bright and early this morning. He did it with a sense of humor and assured everyone he's doing much better. Definitely a step up from where I was 24 hours ago. <laughs> Governor Dayton spoke at the Step Up Achieve Annual Partners Breakfast at Target Field. The Step Up Achieve program, by the way, connects businesses with talented and diverse workers. Governor Dayton applauded the program's success and then headed to St. Paul, where he talked with reporters. Dayton says he feels good. Doctors tell him he has a healthy heart and he continues to serve the people of Minnesota. Did EKGs and finally went down and looked into my, my uh, stomach. Um, I had all sorts of fun things to do that make me regret the decision not just to go home. But I'm fine. I feel fine. And uh, I'm my new, where is it here? This is my new, new best friend. That's right, Dayton. Have to stay hydrated. In other news, Dayton announced he's ending his push for a special session. He couldn't reach a deal with Republicans and ran out of time. He had hoped to hammer out the issues of real IDs, unemployment benefits for mine workers, and economic disparities. Republican House Speaker Kurt Doubt has said those issues can wait until the legislature's scheduled return in early March. Nice to see the governor is in good spirits and feeling better. All right, Ashley, thank you.